Okay, so the consumer price index came back, showed inflation was about a tenth of a percent higher than expectations. So did the markets overreact? And welcome to this week's Mortgage Minutes with Mitch. I'm Mitch Jenkins, Senior Loan Officer with Your Home Financial. So this week we got the uh, Consumer Price Index report and it showed that inflation was running a little bit hotter than what the experts thought it would. And uh, usually, especially last year, that would cause interest rates to go up, the markets would be out of whack, things would be, people would just basically overreact to the news. So a sense of calm has kind of returned to the markets, which is certainly welcome. So there wasn't a huge reaction. Overall, mortgage rates did not change a whole lot. Now this morning, we got the producer price index numbers, and that actually showed inflation cooling for producers much better than expected. Those came in, that came in actually about two tenths lower than what was expected, showing cooling inflation. So that was welcome news. And once again, the markets didn't react a whole lot to that either. So uh, if you look at this chart here, last few weeks, especially since the beginning of this year, really right around the holidays, things have just been calm, not a whole lot of movement. But if you kind of extend this out a little bit, you can see that there was some major movement pretty much all year last year. So the fact that we're seeing a little bit of calm, hopefully that's good news. Um, as we inch closer and closer to the Fed's goal of 2% inflation, hopefully normalcy will return. So this weekend, get ready, buckle up. It's gonna be windy, it's gonna be rainy. We got snow coming, we've got a uh, pretty miserable weekend as far as weather's concerned and cold weather ahead. But Saturday, we got our brownies in the playoffs. So go Browns, as always, thank you for watching. We'll see you next week.